My second piece I painted in 2011, Heaven Spun Metal. So my second painting revolves around the personality disorder, borderline personality disorder. I have a friend that probably has it. So I was wondering why my friend was like that, why she canceled appointments, why you couldn't get a hold of her, why she was like this. And she wasn't just like this towards me, she was like this towards everybody. And everybody would always wonder, what the hell's wrong with her? And, you know, she obviously wasn't bipolar, she wasn't schizophrenic, not a big mental issue, it was more just her decision making. So, I did some research and I came across this personality disorder. And I've talked to a few friends about it since that are in psychology. Oh yeah, it's a real thing. Interesting, because you see a lot of these people on TV being exploited on talk shows all the time, which is really shocking and a shame. You know, if someone had schizophrenia, you wouldn't parade them on TV and laugh at them or go ooh-ah at their lives. But we seem to do that with borderline personality disorder, which is really shocking. Now, in my painting, she has dark wings. And I paint her as a dark wing angel, not because she's evil. It's because of that kind of fallen angel idea where, you know, someone out of their own control basically has this negative connotation to them or people say things about them that aren't really right or correct. I made the cross that she's sitting on uh, out of gun pieces uh, to show the volatility. And I really want to be, uh, I want to have really strong religious connotations to them because borderline personality people have a tendency to base their decisions on when they were eight years old. Uh, so it's not really logical. It's more based on emotion and feeling. Uh, the telephone that's kind of dangling there represents that issue they have with communications. Answering telephones is an issue. Uh, calling people, you know, getting back to people. The chain that's dangling from her leg, her ankle, you know, that being chained to the past idea. She has bandages around her wrists. A lot of... Uh, a lot of borderline personality disorder people have uh, they self-inflict their wounds, which is really uh, you know that cry for help. Where after making a lot of bad decisions in their lives or decisions based on uh, emotion, they're wondering why you know this is always happening to them. Uh, around her eyes, she has horse blinders on, and that's that you know. And the sad thing about it is a lot of people, a lot of borderline personality people believe that they're normal like we all do you know we all think we're normal i have issues too i think i'm normal it's not when i until i step back and say why does this always happen to me that i you know start taking an account of my life uh borderline personality believe they're making decisions like everybody else based on some kind of rational logic it's that process of making the decision that's kind of gone haywire uh, the background, you know, there's a this kind of chaotic kind of swirling. It's actually from a particle chamber uh, where they shoot particles into this chamber and they kind of explode in this chaotic pattern. And I use that in the background to show that kind of chaos that's always in their lives. 